You know, Leslie, if I can jump in there one more time, I think yeah. another reason why folks are very skeptical of this story, of the origins of this story, not the content. I think everyone's on board with this is real, but the way the story has come about, the other thing is the New York Times, of course. I mean, it's it's awesome. And I have no doubt in terms of the way that you're telling it with inside the New York Times and how it operated and their uh, careful and measured approach and moving it through the thing. But the New York Times, I mean, where was the New York Times with the, with a 12 part investigative series on your book? Your book had it has incredibly uh, authoritative, trusted voices in it. The New York Times was nowhere near that story. Where was the New York Times with uh, with the Disclosure Project, the congressional like Disclosure pro Project? Again, dozens and dozens of highly credible, highly uh, credentialed people inside inside the deep state. The New York Times was nowhere to be found. So I don't think it really rings true to say, well, they were never given, they were never given a shot at it. It's like, no, go, I did this before the show, before this show. You go Google New York Times UFO. The last mm -hmm. 10 years, there's nothing. And now December, it 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 all, all opens up. And of course, the sea has closed, right? Well, and not, they didn't really do a follow-up story no, and, on it either. And to add to that, it's the timing which is suspect as well, because Podesta and Hillary were supposed to be the disclosure. A lot of people were hanging the disclosure hat on them, as you know. And then when Hillary lost and Trump's in, the timing seems suspect. That all of a sudden they, now, they hung it on now they're too. paying attention to the UFO thing. And I know there's not a lot of. I can't cite a lot of evidence for that, but I think that's just building on the reason why some of the community just just doesn't doesn't trust it or not doesn't trust it, but is skeptical of the, of the origins. I mean, for one, finally, after decades and decades, they're admitting this, you know, I mean, it's great on one, on one hand. I mean, I'm, I think it's fantastic and it has been, I mean, I'd like to let, let you comment on that before I ask <laughs> you, ask you more about the disclosure <laughs> aspect. Comment now, what specifically, I mean, I mean, in terms of what Alex was saying, uh, I don't think there's ever been a story like this that has been brought to the New York times as something brand new, exclusive just for them. Yeah. The Disclosure Project, if you're talking about Stephen Greer's press conference, that was all over the map. Everybody covered it, and yeah. it was over. Even the New York Times, I have they did one little article on it. And then uh, my book, I mean, it's all in my book. They only want stuff at the New York Times that's brand new and exclusive for them, that's breaking news, that's different. They're not going to just repeat something that's already out there. But this wasn't exclusive. Elizondo, it certainly was. Well, Elizondo it was absolutely been all exclusive. over the place. Yeah, no, but, but then he true. went to C play play the clip. I mean, he went to CBS, the Washington Post. Yes, afterwards. Afterwards. Like, afterwards. Like, doesn't make any difference. Exclusive. But I mean, that the Times broke the story and had the exclusive story, and then everybody else jumps on afterwards. But that's what it means to have an ex exclusive. The, the, you biggest break story, it. The, the biggest story in, in, in history, right? It, it, it should have been, if it's if it's real in that way or if it caught the traction they wanted to, where's the 12 part series? But then he just goes and makes the rounds. I mean, it's like a guy coming out with a new book. He goes on CBS, he finally that's, makes it on the Fox. True. Play the thing from uh, Tucker Carlson, I thought probably did the the, the best I job. Agree with of you. Kind Tucker of Carlson was up. great. Okay, I agree well, with you. So yes, I mean, Elizondo graciously, much to his, Dis he didn't like it. He didn't want to go on the media. He'd never done it before. He was very nervous. He took, he was coached and he did it. He did this following the release of the article, but the important thing was the release of the New York times article. And yes, the media went bananas afterwards. And yes, he was willing to be interviewed about it. I don't really I, understand the point you're making. Well, I, I, I think you, you do, you just have a different opinion, which is fair, but I'll make a different point that's related. You, mm -hmm. You've been in this field, so you certainly understand the other hesitancy people have given the amount of misinformation, disinformation, criminal activity, coercion, uh, intimidation that's going on with the release of this information. I mean, a Paul Benowitz kind of thing where they admit, yeah, we drove the guy crazy. I mean, they admit that stuff. But there's tons of other people that have come and said, hey, I was threatened. My family was threatened. All the rest of this stuff. The, the, they've kept such a tight lid on this information to juxtapose that with this release just sends a lot of people reeling like and then to say, well, this one wasn't classified. And, you know, somehow there's it just doesn't ring true to me and to a lot of other people. There's some other story here. You're not responsible for that story. You're responsible for telling your story and you've done a 
fantastic job with it. And it's kind of in sync with the way you've done your book, kind of cautious, but built on solid rock, which is what we need. But I think you understand why people would be, you know, a little bit leery of the deep states out there muscling and bullying people. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, here, come to the trough and eat. <laughs> Please check out the Skeptico website. You can see it here. We cover a lot of different stuff you might be interested in relating to controversial science and spirituality. A lot of shows up there, over 350 of them or so, all free, all available for download. So do check it out. <laughs>